Hi, Trevor here, reflecting on live through music. Welcome and thank you for stopping by. It is fantastic that you are here. Well, I trust you enjoyed my last video on the band The Call. And certainly through this song, I Still Believe, we talked about the fact that sometimes, particularly when life is tricky, something needs to rise up within us to keep us moving. And that is your belief. So I trust you appreciated that one. Well, we're kind of following that theme a little bit today because I thought I wanted to go back to this little gem of a movie that came out in 2007. So a little while ago, um, Mr. Megorium's Wonder Emporium. Now, I don't know if you can remember this movie. There was something quite magical and something quite beautiful about how it looked on the screen. But more importantly, it's the story of this movie that makes it so compelling. Uh, the movie starred Dustin, Dustin Hoffman, of course, screen legend, movies like Rain Man. Um, he is Mr. Megorium. Then we've got Natalie Portman. Now, Natalie Portman, Portman was in episodes one to three of the Star Wars trilogy. Yes, for Star Wars fans out there, I have said episodes one to three, just to make it really obvious. Of course, she played Padme in those three movies. Then got Jason Bateman, who's done a few bits and pieces. And then there was a kid, Ted Ludzig, who was in this movie as well. And he was very much the narrator. And in a lot of ways, almost the, the, the driving force um, in this movie at times. Sometimes it's the characters off to the side that have the most important role to play. Um, it was directed by Zach Helm. And the soundtrack was just pretty amazing. Alexandra Desplat and Aaron Zygman were behind the soundtrack for this one. And the movie turned over about $70 million, give or take. Now, the movie really is about um, Natalie Portman's character, and that is Mahoney. Now, Mahoney was the manager of what was this magical wonder emporium. <laughs> Bit of a toy shop, a bit of everything. Things just happened in this place. And people came from miles around just to see the magic that Mr. Megorium had instilled in this movie. Now, there are spoilers in this in this particular video, but I'm given it's 2007. Those who have wanted to see it by now would have seen it, but I suppose there's a, there is a spoiler alert here. Uh, but I also encourage you to watch it if you haven't seen it because it's quite cute. Um, you've got to turn your adult off a bit when you watch this one and just get caught up with what is an absolutely magical experience. So Mahoney was the, was the manager of the Wonder Emporium. Um, she was also a budding, budding piano player and musician. And certainly when she was younger, she, there were hopes from all around her that she was going to go on to greater things. But as, as what happens often in life these days, your self-belief perhaps dies a little bit and you just settle into a bit of a routine. You think, oh, nothing ever exciting is going to happen to me. And so very much we see a dream slowly dying in this particular movie. Um, this all culminates to a point where um, Mr. Megorium announces to Mahoney that he is dying. In fact, he knows he's dying because he's on it wearing his last pair of shoes. <laughs> That's how he knows. And Mahoney st starts to realise, oh my goodness, don't die. Don't leave me. Don't leave me alone. Don't die. Don't leave me. I don't want to die. I don't want you to die. And Mr. Ligorian said, look, for you to truly live and discover the magic that is in this door. And you'll be surprised when you see where the magic comes from. The magic is in you. It's still there. And so he, he dies. And then at the end, we certainly do see the outpouring of wonder and magic as Mahoney does discover in, in the scene it's called Mahoney's debut that yes, she has had the magic all along. And she does write 
and masterpiece. Alexander Desplat and Aaron Siegman put out all the stops when they wrote that particular sequence of music. In fact, you, you dabble, they dabble in this theme all the way through it, but when you see it culminate at the end, you think, oh, wow, this is absolutely stunning to watch. So Mahoney found, where did, how did she find herself? She didn't find it through, through outward. She found it by looking within. And in a lot of ways, she found it through a tragic circumstance. Something had to rise up within her to be able to get her to rise to a new level. And we, sometimes we talk about wilderness experiences. We talk about times when perhaps we're, we're not quite sure where the world's headed. Everything's a bit foreign, a bit strange, and we're kind of in a bit of a holding pattern. It's almost... It's almost like, you know, we're, we're a plane <laughs> above an airport um, and we're waiting waiting to land. But because there's so many other planes hanging around, we just have to circle around for a while. And eventually, after time, we may land and into what's called, I suppose, to, to coin a phrase, the promised land of our lives. But once, when we're in the wilderness experiences and we look around and we just see sand everywhere, we see cactuses, there's no water, it's dry. Our inspiration is running low. Our self-belief is pretty well non-existent. We can either choose to let the wilderness overcome us or we can use the wilderness as a chance to learn and to grow and to be honed for what is the next part of our life. Because you know what, we might have been successful. How do we then get to that next level? Well, often we need to contemplate and reflect on what the next level actually is. And sometimes we need a little bit of wilderness experience to do that. And often we fight these wilderness experiences who think, oh no, don't, I don't want to be here. Let's just get on to the next thing. Well, what about if you're not ready for the next thing just yet? Life has an incredible way of just putting us on hold so that we can explore what that next level is and what it is that we're going to need to do and be to be able to get to that next level. Sometimes it can go on for a while. I know for me, um, I finished, uh, I finished uh, in a, as a professional in 2013. And then it's taken me six years really pretty, pretty much find the job of my dreams but you know what I could have gone back to where I was and I wouldn't have been happy so but I am really really happy now with what I'm doing it takes a while sometimes for us to get ready for the next thing but I think the thing is to realize is that we need to give our space to be able to do that and certainly we don't put life on hold we try things out and we see things see where things are going and we just see what we're made of. This is what the wilderness experience is all about. And now we all know the movie scenes where someone's in the desert and they're, 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 they're dying of thirst and then all of a sudden someone comes, saves them and next minute they're in the oasis. Certainly there is power in someone walking the journey with you through these wilderness experiences because they can help you and assist you because you're going to need it from time to time. This is the power of this movie, Mr. McGorium's Wonder Emporium. This is the lesson of it as Mahoney through the most unlikely of places within herself. Who would have thought carried on the legacy that was the magic of Mr. McGorium? into her own new world and yes she did write her masterpiece which is pretty pretty cool so I trust that will be an encouragement for you if you're in a wilderness experience right now don't discount it whatever you do please don't discount it you're getting prepared for the next thing so learn 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 what it is so that you can get to that next place we don't know how long wilderness experiences go for. <laughs> they just go for the length of time they need to go for in the story. So 
I trust you will be encouraged if you're in a wilderness journey right now. It could be that this video could be just the thing that you need to watch as you contemplate your own journey. Well, we've got three clips from the movies today that I thought I would share with you. And the description, the links to all of these three are in the description below. We certainly have the frustration phase of Mahoney. We can call this call these clips Mahoney moments. Certainly the frustration at the start when she's trying to write her music and she just can't find the notes. And pretty much introducing her as the manager of the Magic Emporium. We then got my probably one of the most poignant parts of the movie, and that's when Mr. McGoran announces to Mahoney, because he's wearing his last pair of shoes, that he is about to die. And her reaction to that news and everything else um, is just really, really sad. And then just silently, but with mobility, Mr. McGoran leaves the world. She gives up for a while at that point, but bit by bit she starts to realise that the magic of Mr. McGoran is in her of all weird and wonderful places. And at the end of the movie, and we'll call this the magic sequence, Mahoney makes her debut. She finds her music and the magic store comes to life under her magical touch. So those three clips are there for you to have a look at. I think these three clips really, really show the story of Mahoney more than any others in this movie. So have a look at all of those or some of those, but there is a bit of a story so I encourage you to look at all of them. Don't just look at the death one. <laughs> You've really got to see the final the final scene to, for it to all make sense. Well, um, if you've come back for another video, really, really fantastic for you to do so. We do go into all sorts of weird and wonderful places, that is for sure. Um, and, you know, as I shared a little while ago when I looked at ELO and Xanadu, I looked at the fact that there is magic and wonder in this world. We need to keep our eyes open for it because it happens in all sorts of interesting and wonderful places. Now, if, if this is your first time to Life Reflection Through Music, welcome to the channel. It is fantastic that you are here. And if, if everybody's hung around to the end, Fantastic for you to do so. Um, the encouragement always that if you click on one of my videos, please watch it to the end. Now, I've also included my last video from the band The Call. So if you want to recap on that one, feel free. Well, that's it for today. Next time, we're going to go on to Alex Band and his iconic song, wherever you will go when he was with the band The Calling. The Calling. So until then, I'll catch you around.